Hello and welcome to Elite Dangerous. Uh, I haven't been uh, I haven't been on for a while because uh, you know the way uh, things go, you have to put the hobbies to one side, unfortunately, and uh, and get on with uh, the order of things. Uh, but I've had a little bit of free time, so I've quickly come in and did. I've, I was thinking about getting into tanks, but uh, I haven't played that for like two months. In fact, that's not true. I had a couple of games um, a couple of days ago. It was mixed bag. It was, it was all right. Um, few things that I, I seem to have forgotten. Uh, I found uh, I remembered what they were fairly quickly. But anyway, moving to Elite Dangerous. The reason we're in Elite Dangerous is because it's the patch was released yesterday for the beta 2.2 uh, and there's loads of uh, new little bits in there. And there's a couple of bits that I want to look at. Uh, one of which is the Neutron Stars. Uh, they're supposed to be looking rather spectacular um, at the minute. And I've got one which is on this server, which is on uh, this is the live server. This is the, the main server. The um, Well, just the horizons. It's the, um, and then we're going to go onto the beta server and take a look at the same star and see what the differences are. Uh, also, we're going to have a look at. Uh, I want to look at the fighters, but I don't necessarily want to look at the fighters um, flying around in. A, I want to get them on a planet and see if they, if you can use them on on planets as as well. Um, I don't know if you can land one, but at least they hopefully they can fly around in the atmosphere. Um, it's something I don't know that they can do, and we're going to find out. So we'll do that as well. So um, <laughs> we started on this planet only because I was flying past it, uh, and it looked like it was snow. It was like snow on that planet, so I thought I'd land, but I think it's actually just dust. But it uh, it still looks rather nice. Uh, landed on the edge of this rather large crater to go in what looked like a mound, a little hill in the middle. Um, but I think that's going to turn out to be a mountain by the time I get there, because that's some distance away. So anyway, let's uh, let's push on and uh, let's move into the anaconda and uh, go and look at um, this neutron star on the main server, and then we're going to see what it looks like on the beta. So here we are then, we're at uh, our Corona Ostrini, we're about to uh, jump in. Um, I don't think this is actually a neutron actually, I, I, I seem to remember that, um, someone telling me it's a pulsar. So and I don't know that they're changing those, but we're here now, so we might as well take a look. Um, it's right, if you haven't seen it before, it's rather a nice, uh, well you'll see when we get in there. It's um, And you can scoop off it as well, just don't get too close, because uh, it will drag you in and then you have to jump out and... Uh, <laughs> And deploy your heat sinks uh, because of your uh, your overheat, but uh, we shall try not to do that. So we're going to jump straight into it and hit the brakes straight away. <coughs> we don't want to go too far forward. Uh, there we are. Look at that thing spin. This is in the bubble. This is uh, this is not too far. Um, I can't remember where it's near now, but it only took me like two or three jumps to get. I think it was four jumps, wasn't it, from the founders as well to, to get here. It wasn't too bad at all. So we're going to try and get a better angle on it. Obviously, we'll try not to get too close. You know, we're scooping, and we're not that. We're not, we're not even that close to it. So uh, I haven't got the orbital lines turned on, so we can't actually see the the danger zone, which uh, generally shows you. About here should do. We have to spin it around, but this thing takes a while. It's a big old crate, the Anaconda. It doesn't turn <laughs> awfully well, even in Super Cruise. So we we'll slowly bring her around. Here we are. Look at that tiny little thing. What does we move in? Generally, it does it just starts to flare up? I don't know why you can't see it spinning from a distance. It seems to do it. There you go. As you get close, that's my respect. It was, it was a nice find. Somebody else has obviously got their name on it. Is uh, I think lots of people have found this. It's probably all over YouTube. The fact that it's in the bubble, I'm imagining it is. But it is, it's, uh, it is a nice surprise. I didn't know anything about it until I found it and then I looked it up. And yeah, loads of people, it turned out, had uh, also been to been to this this star, our Corona Ostrini. I don't know if it's an actual star or just or just one of their um one of their fabricated ones. But it's still very impressive. Plus, you can get a scoop off it as well, which is always nice. We like stars we can scoop the fuel from. Okay. Alright, so what we do is we're going to jump off out on out of here. Uh, I'll just 
take this thing back to a station. I don't want to log in open space if I can totally help it. Uh, and then we will go on to the 2.2 uh, Guardians and take a look um, at the same star. I don't know if it's a pulsar. I'm not sure that they're doing anything about it. So it might actually be no different. It might be just exactly the same. But we'll take a look anyway. Uh, and then if that actually hasn't been changed, we, we will go and find a neutron. I know uh, where one is. Um, and we, we shall go and we will go and look for that uh, and see what the difference is. Um, because they are supposed to look rather spectacular. And then after that, we shall, uh, we shall go and try out the fighters uh, around the planet, getting one in, into the um, into the, the atmosphere, and well, there's no atmosphere, but you know what I mean. We're, we're the surface side, and we're, we will try out and see if the fighters can be deployed, uh, uh, if not to help you. Apparently there's supposed to be new uh, points of interest as well, so um, we'll see what the changes are with those. So I shall see you in a second. So, we are just about to hopefully jump in to a Strona. There we are. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. It's not even spinning. Is it? It's not spinning, is it? It's. It's not like I'm. I've jumped. Just jumped in. Some as close as I really want to be. And yeah, it's kind of lost its its panace, isn't it? It's. Uh, well, that's a bit of a letdown. Okay, so. Uh, let's see if we can still scoop off it. Can we still scoop off it? Uh, let's turn her round. Uh, oh, we haven't got to go that far forward at all. Yeah, we can still scoop, so it's still useful, but uh, it's not as nice as it was. So, let's plot a course for LTT 7421. Now, this has got a pulsar. Uh, we shall go and have a look at this one. Uh, and I thought I could have probably gone there on the main server and, and we could have, but never mind, it's, uh, uh, I didn't think of it at the time, I was kind of, I had my hopes set on this, that something would have happened with those stars, but maybe not, in fact they seem to have toned it down, uh, or maybe that's just, it's just not been worked on, um, on the bit, I don't know, but either way, that's a little bit disappointing, so let's push on then to uh, LTT and uh, we'll see a proper pulsar. Well, not a pulsar. We've just seen a pulsar. We'll see a neutron star. It's uh, because yeah. <laughs> I know all about this shit, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm not. I, I. Yeah. We'll leave it there, shall we? Let's move on. And here we go. We should hopefully be jumping in. Also, you notice the AI, the UI has changed. This is uh, the colours I use on the beta, so I know the difference between the two. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, uh, you may forget which server you're on. Oh, and look at that. That looks rather nice, and I'm already getting a warning about my FSD. Um, and I've only just jumped in. That's that's rather nice. Let's, let's pull away from that a little bit and, and take a, a little bit of a look from from a bit of a distance because that does look rather nice nice colour blues so let's push let's push away from her a little bit I think that'd be enough yeah that'd be enough let's spin her around and this old crate come on good turn there we go wow Look at that. It's still a little bright though, maybe I should pull away a little bit further. Yeah, let's push away a bit further and then try and get a better look at it. Because I think you get to a point where you don't actually see the flare and then it sort of blends in. Obviously the closer you get, the brighter it's going to be. So we'll push away just a little bit further. We'll spin her, turn her around. And then take a, another look by the time we get this crate round come on let's, let's turn a I don't have a targeted and it's not like you don't necessarily see it you mean it's, it's, it's lighting up the desk oh here we go we can see the colors changing wow look at the it's not a tail is it because it's on beat it's like wings or something it looks like that from a distance if I can Come on, let's turn up. Let's look up. It's like that thing there in Harry Potter. That that, that 
snitch. That was it, wasn't it? The snitch. It's like a blue one of those. Of the shape. But these are the new neutron stars. If I can get the damn ship to turn around. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have bought a, a, a some more agile ship to, to start with. And There we go. Look at that. Wow. Right then, let's see what happens when we fly through it. You're supposed to lose control of the ship. And let's, let's go through the edge for a start. Let's go, let's drift through it at a reasonable pace. Yeah, we did lose a little bit of control. Check to see whether we've done any damage or not. Where is it? Um, I do have a frame shift drive, I don't know, I do. Where is it? Uh, oh my god. There we go, yeah, yeah, 99%. So we lost a little bit, and then, well, we went through at a reasonable pace, so let's go a little bit slower and see what happens. 99% uh, we were going up 75% uh, power, which is uh, generally the recommended for turning and that in super cruise so let's go down to 50 percent now we'll go through at 25 percent that's what we're doing and see what happens look at that that it's doesn't look too bad and that's going to start flaring out oh yeah that's uh here we go look at that so we'll slow it down a touch. They've done a marvellous job of those. They look rather it's, it's different than anything we've seen so far in Elite. Uh, nice little touches like this. It's going to mean you're going to have to be a little bit more aware when you're jumping into some of these stars because if you jump in and don't stop and try and go up and you, you'll go through. It's not a tail, is it? It's, it's more. It does, it looks like, it reminds me of the snitch out of Harry Potter, except it's blue. It's not the, it's the blue snitch rather than the golden snitch. Okay, so let's go through here at a slower speed and see what happens. I took 1% damage. Oh, let's get it up. We're losing control, but it's fine. We're free. Oh, we've had a engine boost. Wow, so you can get how how much of an engine boost? What's it? Um yeah, a little bit of damage. There's nothing to, nothing to worry about really. Let's have a look see what it's gonna allow. Look at the the jump lines coming off that. They're single jumps and they're right pushing it right out, so that's a eighty eighty really eighty three eighty three light years uh, wow that's um that's a big jump just from going through one of the the tails i'm going to call it a tail because i don't know what else to call it of a neutron you you can all of a sudden get that's um that's weeks of looking for resources on planets to get i mean I don't even have the, the I, I can't even synthesis the the large. I can do I think the first and second, but I'm, I'm a couple of materials short of doing the, the largest jumps, and I've just gained that just by going for a star. Is it for one jump though, or is it? Let's actually see if we can do that. Let's find a star, which is out. That's out a bit far. Uh, we want about eighty, eighty odd light years. If we look to roughly where. The navigational line sort of tail off, and then we can see whether we can actually do that jump. Uh, how far is that? That's, that's too far. So 
we need to, what we do then, we'll get a couple this side of the founder's world and see alright we can do one to here, one, one jump wow is that well, let's see that it doesn't tell me that I'm, I exceed. I'm going to hit the button and, and see if it actually lets me do it. And it's letting me do it. Oh my god. We've just gained. Um, oh, hang on. I haven't got a lot of fuel. I'm going to, um, if that star that I jump into isn't scoopable, I am not going to be able to get out of there. So I better check that they've got a at least got a station in there so that I can <laughs> I'll be it's only the test server but you know what it's still an expensive ship and um, oh I've got shitloads of money I know but you know tight ass. so let's see if there's a station in there there is a station in there okay so I can jump in there and push come to shove I just have to go and land at the station um, but that looks like a scoopable anyway but uh, you never know uh, no, my, the first few weeks of this game I ran out of fuel so many times I shouldn't have done uh, but yeah I learnt the hard way uh, but that's generally the way I do it so let's do an 80 odd light year jump from falling through a star I've totally forgotten about that neutron there was a few other things I wanted to check first <laughs> we just jumped away from it um, oh well that, that's another day I just wanted to do the 80 odd thousand light, 80 light year jump. That's just 80 odd thousand. Imagine that. You can get to the centre of the universe in no time. But, uh, you know, I'll settle for 80 and there we are. We've just jumped 80 odd light years. Just by driving through a star. Oh, do you know what? It's a shame because uh, when they... Obviously they take a screen print for the, for the beta, the same as they do in tanks. It's, it's generally like a week. This is like a week previous. This is where I was a week ago because I was actually back in the Pleiades. Uh, no, I wasn't. I was in Sophis, um, so, and I had to to get my way all the way back into the bubble. Um, but since then, I've got all these upgrades on my ship, and uh, that would be an horrendous. Cause I, the, the the Anaconda now fully blinged with with all the armor, with help of the engineers, does 30 light year uh, uh, unladen jumps, 25 or 26 when it's fully loaded. So that would have been, um, yeah, this is just a uh, stand. I think it's doing about 27 light years at the moment, this particular version of the Anaconda. So, yeah, I'd be able to do even bigger jumps with that boost. But that is, well, I've just jumped 80 odd thousand light years. Right, so, we, well, we've done with the Neutron. We've had a look at the Neutron. We've found some of the pluses of it. The uh, the engine boost, that for, that's just. For, phenomenal. I had heard about it, and, uh, but I didn't know how you did it, and um, well, we found out. So, let's move on to the fighters. Okay, so we found a planet. What we've got to do is land, and uh, I quite like landing, so we're going to do the landing. Well, we're not going to land, are we? We're going to do the dropping into, the, uh, I'm going to call it atmosphere, and I know there is no atmosphere, because we can't land on atmosphere planets yet, but, you know... We are going to get uh, ground side or surface side. I can't think of the appropriate words to use. Basically, we're going to cut through the non-atmosphere and um, go down to the planet. Uh, and here we are. I think there's a couple of... Uh, well, it's not a couple of... There's, there's a G of gravity on this uh, particular world. Uh, actually, there's not. There's not. The one I looked at had... Um, Oh, so somehow I've managed to target a different planet, but it is one I can land on, so it doesn't. We're here, you know. Doesn't matter. We're, we're, I was actually looking forward to trying to get the Anaconda down in the, in a couple of Gs. Well, it was, I think it's 1.6. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done 2G in the, in the Anaconda before, but uh, and it wasn't it wasn't too difficult. Uh, but here we are in uh, the glide, so we're just pushing straight down. Yeah, it's looking rather nice. I do enjoy the uh, coming in on these planets. There aren't as many... Uh, the craters look deeper from up there, that's what I was kind of hoping to get the fighter in if it, if it lets me and, and start whizzing it around in some of the craters, not the craters, uh, the ravines and stuff. But they don't look too bad. Um, we shall see... Because uh, I haven't tried this at all yet. I've, land, I've got two ships on board, but as far as I'm aware... 
uh, I can only use one at a time because you only have one crew member. Even though there are two spare seats on the Anaconda, I can only use one of them at the current time. Um, I'm hoping um, that we... I'm sure there's actually two more seats, or one, at least one more seat behind, but uh, I can't see those. Um, but let's just take out the fire anyway, and we shall see. I've never flown one of these. These are, these are in the CQC, which I haven't touched. Um, that's not something I'm really that bothered by. So this is going to be the first time that I've actually been in one of these little fighters. And uh, yeah, first impressions uh, are pretty nimble. Pretty fast. I have no idea whether I can actually land this thing on the ground. But yeah, they're very nice. And uh, we can go back and have a look at the ship. There she is. Look at that. That's... What is it doing? Is it following me? Why are you following me? I'm a fighter. You're, I'm supposed to be following you. Oh, okay. So, maybe there's command. We'll have to, have to look out, uh, look for those in a second. We can see if they are somewhere down here. It's bound to be. Um, no, that's information on her. Uh, helm. Ah, here we go details and there ah so yeah we've got the commands apparently you can short key these but I haven't done that and I've just smashed into something <laughs> the ground as it turned out okay so we've learned a lesson we've learned something already we need to uh, choose our moments when we are, are going to start looking at commands and how to uh, take command of our ships so what have we got here transfer and uh, yeah, it's just basic commands, but we can, like I say, we can short key, short key, we can shortcut a lot of these keys, which I haven't done. It'd be nice when we can have uh, surely two fighters, and that's just, yeah, I'm back in the Anaconda. Uh, okay, so you can switch between, and there's the fighter there, look, just in front. Let's go back to, no, yes. We go back to the fighter, and there it is. Look at that. That's uh, that's that's rather nice. I quite like these little, little, little. I think this is the Condor, isn't it? They're, I've got the other one on on board as well. I think it's the Empire, the little uh, Imperial little fighter. It might be the Imperial fighter. I'm not 100. percent um, I wonder if you can get Sidewinders and stuff like that. Um, I never saw those. I think these are smaller, though, aren't they? These are a lot smaller ships. And the sidewinders you can land, so they're probably bigger. Um, I haven't looked. So if look on the right side, it's got uh, landing and uh, mass locked. Um, yeah, why have they got mass locked? It's not like you can. I don't think these have got jump drives on them, have they? So well, why would it make a difference if something's mass locking you? It's not like you've got a. Or maybe you have. Maybe you can do short range jumps. Well, we'll maybe have to try that one out. But let's try let's have a little bit of fun. There's, there's, there's ravines around here aren't as like I was hoping them. I know a couple of planets where well, they've got some really nice ones. A lot of them are in Seoul. But well, we should work with what we've got so far. I'm hoping the Anaconda's not going to try and follow us through here. Because uh, it may not turn and uh, it'll blow the ship up. And then uh, I don't know what happens then. Um, I suppose there's one way of finding out. Yeah, she's very nimble. I could probably get her a lot lower down, but uh, yeah, she's definitely fast. Uh, definitely a nice, nice fast vehicle. Uh, also, I'm a little bit um, I'm wanted. Well, I'm not wanted. The Anaconda's wanted, but I haven't got a wanted above mine. Now, I did see that. Uh, on, I think uh, Obsidian put a video out yesterday. It's very, very got it up so fast. I didn't have, didn't, didn't have time. Uh, and he became wanted as well. But it, it, what I did think that it, he, his ship could have clipped, like when it was defending or when it was fighting, it could have uh, hit another ship, which is very possible, and that could have been it. But there is no ships around here. It's just me and the Anaconda. So. That, that's got to be a glitch, the fact that sh um, the ship's wanted, because I'm not, but it, it is, so that's definitely something they need to 
to hopefully sort out. Otherwise, every time you leave your ship, you you won't have nothing to go back to. Get it get uh, like it did in Obsidian's video, absolutely obliterated. Now that was a, a Type Nine, but uh, not something. Something I wouldn't. It's not going to bother me so much on a test server, but it would. Uh, I mean, my Anaconda costs uh, as it stands at the moment. I think it's something like a twenty million rebuy cost. With all the, the latest upgrades from the engineers and stuff, and it's enabled me to put some better gear on. And yeah, it's gone from 12, uh, uh, it's gone up by 8 million to, to um, 20 odd. So it's not something I necessarily want to be throwing away every time I take it out, unless you just put the fighters. I wonder if you put her in a fighter where this year the fighter would be wanted. And in which case, do you get done by association? Because <laughs> I'll just walk away, you know, it's nothing to do with me. I know, I've never seen her before. Now, sadly, I've run out of time. I have got a skedaddle. So uh, I am not going to be able to look for the points of interest like I was hoping to. So uh, until the next time.